Hey guys and welcome to another video. So today I have a little review video. Now, I just realised this is an actual re-release. So this used to be out there before. I'm sure a lot of people have this product anyway. But it is a re-release with a new design, a new everything. Now I think it might possibly be a new formula as well because um, this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full, found, uh, full coverage foundation. Now. This is $9.99, like it's the usual price. Now the thing is, when it comes to Maybelline products, I am usually the same shade, very much the same shade. I'm always 10 Ivory, um, that's the one that blends into my skin the best. Anything uh, higher than that would be too dark, anything lower than that would be too light or too pink. Now the problem is, I, tr I tested out number 10 Ivory on my hand, and I was looking at it and I'm thinking, this is ridiculously dark. I went and asked all my friends at work and I was like, guys, how does my hand look? It was like, my whole hand was orange. I don't know if it just super, super, super oxidized, but it went from yellow to orange. And they're like, oh my God, Caroline, it looks like your hand has been in the tanning bed for too long, like your just your hand, because I just put it here. A little did it go a long way. Obviously, it's full coverage, and um, now like count it. Like what what happened to your hand? What's wrong with it? I was like, oh, I was just testing out the foundation, and it shocked me because it was so orange. I was so shocked. Um, I'm trying to find something that looks really orange on here, but like you know, it was it went it went really like a bad tan orange. So I've decided to go for number five light beige and just by looking at it, this is already this is pink undertone. I am not pink undertone, I am yellow undertone. I'm just gonna see how it's gonna work out on my skin. Again, it's the same thing as before, just a different packaging, much more nicer, much more sleek, very updated. Um, and on the back it says full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear. Um, I've got the website here, so I'm just going to read it out. It says coverage full, finish flawless semi matte, skin type all types, um, flawless finish in any light from any angle for a makeup look that lasts 200 face touches, 200 phone calls, and a hundred oh, and a thousand water drops. Contains micro flex and friction resistant technology, up to 24 hour wear, stays in place day and night. Okay, that's a claim. And um, funny thing is, is that I'm actually going out today and it's raining ridiculously heavily. Obviously, I'm going to have an umbrella. I'm not going to purposely, you know, go out there and make my face wet. But um, let's see, because it does say water drops. So I'm hoping my face will stay flawless throughout the whole day. Now, it's a pump bottle. Everyone loves a good old pump bottle. Like, the, the one... It used to be a pump bottle anyway. It was just more of a chunkier um, circular bottle design with a clear, um, a clear plastic top. And that thing used to get really messy as well. So I remember, obviously, I work with drugstore items so like Maybelline, everything like that. So um, it's in a glass bowl like before. I actually like this design better than the old one. It's much more sleek. It can actually fit with all your other foundations if they're in a square bottle as well. Um, I'm just, I feel the need to test this out on my skin because I'm very scared. I'm going out with, with this, so I don't want it to be a really terrible match. And it's so pink, it's so pink. But on camera, it always looks different. Like, let me just, yeah, man, it's, it's... do you know what? It's a better match than 10 Ivory. That's all I'm saying. It's a way better match than 10 Ivory because that looked ridiculous on my skin. This, I think I can work with. I honestly think this must be a new formula because I really don't remember number 10 looking like that on my hand. I do not remember that at all. So I'm primed and ready. I am gonna, I'm gonna use a sponge, just like what I usually do, um, a dry one. They've actually got quite a lot of shades. Again, they've got 60 uh, caramel, 70 cocoa. Um, 51 caramel beige. They've got all the usual um, shades, which is good because at least they've got a variety now because before they didn't at all. So I'm just gonna blend this in with a dry sponge. I'm gonna blend it down my neck because I already know that's gonna oxidize like crazy. 
Well, on my face it doesn't look that bad. But, you know, we all know the real truth. It's gonna go orangey. Well, I hope not. I did a simple moisturise and prime. Um, I did a little bit of primer by the Smashbox Photo Ready Radiant. So it's got a little bit of, it's very shimmery. Well, not shimmery, if you, you get on me, it's like an illuminator. You can see it on my forehead. Um, oh Lord. I really hope throughout the day I don't turn like orange. So it definitely is a semi-matte finish because I do look kind of flat, um, but not so flat that I look dry. I don't mind matte finishes because like, um, I powder my face anyway, just normally, because I get super oily throughout the day. I feel like a ghost, like this is so pale for me. Um, what can I do though? I, re I really am not going to spend £20 to get two shades. Like at least let it be one shade that actually fits me well, you know, but I can't talk. So there's more shades that fit me out there than other people's skin tones. So I can't talk right now. I feel like a ghost. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going to bring it a little bit more down my neck. This, this is me just wiping my hand. It looks very orange, doesn't it? Mm. We'll just see how it goes. Um, okay, I'm going to conceal my under eyes and then I'm going to lightly set my face. So the powder actually I feel settled into this, settled into the skin really nicely because now my skin looks much more, um, the texture looks a little bit more smoother. So uh, hopefully it's the powder as well, as well as the foundation. It looks all right for now. Usually I use concealer to conceal any of my imperfections that I have on my skin. So um, I didn't have to do that, which is good. So it's a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna continue on. I'm just gonna finish my face. I'm gonna be very, very plain, very, very plain, very simple. So um, I'm just gonna do all of that and then I'll show you how I look like afterwards. And then we can kind of see what's happening around there. So yeah. Okay, so I'm back and I did say I was gonna go simple and natural. Yeah, I went a different direction. But um, this is how my face looks after all that. I think it's been an hour or maybe 45, probably like 45 minutes. Um, I just took my time with it. I didn't really wanna rush through anything. Um, everything sits on my skin really nicely. Um, I don't see any oxidising at all. It, it's blent into my neck well, which I'm kind of grateful for, because I really, oh man, I'm so glad I tested it out before I bought it, because usually I just go straight for tent ivory, no problems with it, that's it. I'm so glad I chose the shade lighter. I'm gonna go out anyway. Um, I'm probably gonna update you later today on how it wore throughout the day. Um, I did set my face with setting spray, so that should help as well because it does say it's supposed to be transfer proof definitely trans not transfer it's definitely no, it's definitely transfer proof i don't see anything on my hand there's nothing on my hand when i touch my face which is good because i really hate transfer i can't stand transfer so yeah this is it i'll be back in a little while um to update you on how it's gone and how i'm liking it if i am liking it if it's worth it if I really think this might be a new formula, honestly, I really think of it, even though it doesn't claim, I just think it is because, I don't know, but it's definitely a re-release, it should be coming out very, very, very soon, possibly August 23rd, most super drug stores should have that updated, so yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. Right now. What do you think of my foundation? It's actually really nice. What, does it blend into my neck? Yeah, of course. Are you sure? Yeah. This it is isn't like your normal foundation that you wear. Oh really? Okay, that's good. I'll add this into the makeup review video yeah, but then. The thing is, just see how it goes like at the end and then yeah. um, film it again to see what it looks like. Exactly, because you know I'm like number 10 ivory. Yeah. This is number 05 light beige. It's like the... This is the lightest. The lightest yeah. one. Yeah. And I tried number 10 on my hand, but it oxidized. It went so orange on really? my neck. Yeah, like 
sun tan orange, like fake tan orange. Wait, I need you to take off the umbrella because it's covering your actual face. It looks pretty good though. Does it? You oh, have there's a 468. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't look like it. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I'm back. I've got to put my ring light on because it looks too dark right now. It's not even that dark outside, but my whole room just looks too yellow. Um, so it's been, I'd say it's been about six, seven hours and um, my skin definitely looks oily. Hold on a second, let me just touch up. So what I mean by oily, you can kind of see, especially around the T-zone area, it's just a bit too shiny right now. So I'm just gonna take some translucent powder and set those areas especially my forehead my forehead tends to be super oily um, so that looks a bit better now what i did notice see if i turn the ring light off it looks a bit it's a bit too dark anyway so what i noticed um i took some pictures after i finished before and I noticed how bad it looked on my face like my face looked so pale so I decided to look up the SPF and it was SPF 10 it's a really low SPF so um, I'm just thinking it's probably the the color selection because it was it it's literally so pale but when when you look at me in person it blends in with my skin really well I asked my two best friends how it was and they said it looks fine so um the white cast is really terrible in flash photos anything any foundation that doesn't give me flashbacks in flash photos is something that i keep forever such as my naked skin foundation that stuff right there is heavenly but um to be honest my skin my skin looks fine like it's all right let me just test transfer proof right now Yeah, it is definitely. I, I just touched my face and wiped on my black shirt. If if I had anything on my hands, you would have seen it. So it definitely is transfer proof because there's nothing there. Um, what else? It is really raining outside, so I did. I was out while it was really raining. Water did splash on my face here and there. My makeup is still looking good, so I don't see a problem with that at all. So definitely, if you want it waterproof, touch proof everything it's actually quite good um it's definitely on the thicker side of the foundation range um as in it's not going to look thin or skin like very skin like it's going to look a little bit like a layer because it is full coverage foundation although i still look good though don't get it twisted all other products sit well on it i mean this isn't this isn't like a new foundation but i feel like it might be a new formula i really believe it's a new formula honestly because i don't remember 10 ivory looking that bad on me i do believe it is a new formula they've obviously brought out new colors in the range because i believe it stopped at 48 or 40 i think it stopped at sun beige i think it was so they've brought out darker shades so the shades that you have in the dream matte mousse i believe are coming out in the super stay range as well because i did notice number 70 i did notice number 60 and i did notice number 51 so those are more of like the medium to darker range so they are bringing out a darker range in that it feels fine on my skin i don't really feel like i have makeup on maybe because i'm too used to that um, but it does feel like Yeah, it feels like I've got nothing on my skin um, other than around my nose when I get oily I can kind of feel that I can feel that around my nose which is kind of gross But other than that it was all right. So this is a re-release. It's not anything brand spanking new as I thought it was overall the wear time I believe would be very very long I can see it, it's lasting long usually with some foundations because of my crease line here because I do that a lot like I have this really strong line it would sink into the crease disgustingly but with this it's, it looks completely fine I don't see anything there the only thing is obviously touching up your powder across along uh, like throughout the day um, that's if you're oily if you're not oily this would be good for you but obviously depending on what foundation it is this is a semi matte it did say so it's not completely matte and it's not completely dewy so it's just the mix in between so obviously if you really have bad oily skin 
stick to matte or just really powder your face with your favorite powder i think it's done all right so longevity pretty good um the claims for being touch proof waterproof this that and the other i can actually agree with i did go out in the rain the rain did splash my face quite a bit um my makeup is still intact and it is touch proof again let me just wipe it on my shirt you see no marks i mean it'll come up white on on my hands and you would see it on my black shirt so no it is completely transfer proof full coverage yep i can vouch for that i didn't have to use concealer once for my spots and whatnot definitely test it out if there are testers where you are at test them out before you buy it it doesn't matter if you are 40 fawn in the dream liquid or in the dream matte test it out because it can change completely obviously testing it on your hand to your face is completely different but if if my hand is looking orange like an orange obviously there's there's a problem there that it doesn't match at all but yeah check it on your chin the side of your nose your forehead your jawline check it in all those places if you want to go for your whole face go for your whole face it's completely up to you but definitely double check your shade before you buy it so yeah i think that is my review um i hope you guys enjoyed if you did please don't forget to like subscribe share and comment and i'll see you guys in my next video thanks for watching bye